Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Yvonne Blasik is here. So in this video, I'm going to discuss garlic and its impact on our gut microbiome. The question is, does garlic kill some of our good bacteria? We know that it kills the bad bacteria, but does it kill, is, is the good bacteria caught in a crossfire? Well, in this video, you will find out, and this is my um, summary of the research that I've read through, and also a common sense uh, answer and perspective on this. So first off, most research shows that garlic selectively kills pathogenic bacteria. And indeed, it actually promotes good bacterial growth. However, there are few in vitro studies, and I use the word in vitro, which in vitro is a petri dish study or a test tube, which is taken outside of a living organism or biological system. Um, it's different than in, in vivo studies. Um, so essentially, a few in vitro studies from the same lab, mind you, have shown that an aqueous garlic extract can kill off some of our bifida bacteria, which is one of the good strains, okay? However, there are other in vitro studies that have shown that garlic increases bifida bacteria, okay? So now we have mixed results, all right? Here are my critiques with that study. Number one, the aqueous garlic extract discards some of the insoluble material. And research has shown that the amount of fructans in a garlic extract is only a fraction of what's found in raw garlic. So my presumption is when, the, when, we, when we use a garlic extract, it's almost like a fructan-free uh, garlic. And let me explain to you the relevance of fructans here. First off, garlic is one of the richest natural sources of inulin fructans, okay? It's a source of fiber. It's a, actually, it feeds, it's a, it's, it's a prebiotic. So it actually encourages the growth of good bacteria, right? Now, bifidobacteria, the bacteria that was shown to be killed off by this garlic extract, they are actually fructin degraders. So that's a big, um, that's a big drawback, in my opinion, of the study, because um, had actual garlic clove been used, which is rich in inulin fructans, I think it would have different results. And it also probably lends credence to the other studies finding that garlic actually encourages the growth of good bacteria. So the bottom line is the sum is greater than the parts, okay? So there's a synergy component being lost with an aqueous garlic extract, all right? In particular, the fact that um, we're losing the fructin factor, which is one of the, probably one of the prime reasons why garlic actually encourages the growth of good, back, good gut bacteria. It's a prebiotic, okay? And I think that a great study would be one that actually compared an actual garlic clove to a garlic extract and its impacts on the gut microbiome. Now, there are other studies that show that garlic promotes good gut bacterial growth, such as bifidobacteria as well as lactobacillus, and the, lacto, the lactic acid producing bacteria, okay? Those studies are down below in the video description for your convenience. On the flip side though, garlic inhibits the growth of pathogenic gut bacteria. We're talking about H. pylori, E. coli, salmonella, staph, as well as LPS, uh, the endotoxin, okay? Um, also, garlic reduces TMAO production, which is, uh, which is through its impact in the gut microbiome. So in a nutshell, guys, I think that the prevalence of research shows garlic is actually good for the gut microbiome in the context of a well-rounded, balanced diet, which lends itself to moderation anyway. So there's my scientific two cents with some common sense. So with that, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to uh, ask questions, and thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time.